The wild week on Wall Street fueled by a short squeeze ended with the Dow dropping nearly 621 points Friday, the Nasdaq falling 266 points and the S&P down 73 points. But GameStop, a key stock behind the market chaos, is still surging. ABC's Deirdre Bolton is here in New York City with the latest. Good morning to you, Deirdre. Good morning, Eva. Some traders are resting after what was one of the most volatile weeks on Wall Street in years. Volume-wise, it was the heaviest since the height of the credit crisis in 2008. This morning, there's a pause from market mania after the Dow plunged more than 600 points on Friday. I never thought I would do anything like day trading a meme stock. The frenzy is due in part to a fight between professional Wall Street investors and an online army of amateur day traders. Professional hedge fund managers calculated that two companies, struggling video game retailer GameStop and AMC Theaters, were on the brink of collapse and bet against them by shorting their stocks. But a group of amateurs brought together over social media purchased shares in both companies, causing the stocks to soar and those Wall Street professionals to lose millions. GameStop and AMC both closing up for the week. GameStop skyrocketing 400 percent, AMC more than 300 percent. Many are crediting 34-year-old Keith Gill as the force behind the grassroots investing effort, using Reddit and YouTube to offer stock tips. In an interview with The Wall Street Journal, Gill says, This story is so much bigger than me. I support these retail investors and their ability to make a statement. Now, many officials, analysts, and market experts are concerned that market turbulence may hurt individual investors. The SEC says, quote, it is closely monitoring and evaluating the situation. Since many of these eyebrow-raising trades are being executed on an online trading platform called Robinhood, that company is under extra scrutiny. Brokerages and other financial institutions do this all the time. It's just part of day-to-day -day normal operations. Every day, people are taking control of their financial futures in ways that people haven't before. Even young investors are taking advantage. Ten-year-old Jaden received shares of GameStop as a gift for Kwanzaa, and now he has a few thousand dollars in profits, earning him a moment in the spotlight. I think of it as, like, something fun to do and profitable at the same time. If you are going to invest, experts say true beginners should work with a financial advisor. A second tip, diversify so that all your eggs are not in one basket. Dan? It's a wild story, Deirdre. <laughs> Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.